This video will show the mounting, wiring, and addressing of a Novar XEM LCD. The XEM LCD comes fully assembled and can easily be mounted directly to a wall or horizontally on a standard 2x4 inch electrical box. With the optional cover plate assembly, it can also be mounted vertically on a standard 2x4 inch electrical box. The mounting procedures vary depending on the mounting location and the instructions can be found in the Novar XEM LCD installation manual. In this tutorial, I will be mounting to a 2x4 inch electrical box, which simply requires two standard 632 thread screws. The LCD termination wall plate is composed of a strong plastic, but care should be used to not overdrive screws as this may warp or damage the device. Once mounted, you can run and terminate your power and communication wires. Use 18 to 22 American gauge wire stripped to approximately a quarter of an inch. Connecting the power is straightforward. Just follow the labeling on the terminal strip. But keep in mind that the XEM LCD must have its own isolated, non-grounded 24 volt AC power source. It should never share power with the executive controller or any other module. When terminating the communication wires, it is important to note the following. While the LCD terminals are labeled A for positive, B for negative, similar to Novar legacy equipment, on the ES1, the points are named simply negative and positive, with A and B being port designations. Wiring should match A from the LCD to positive on the ES1, and from B on the LCD to negative on the ES1. Shield is labeled similarly on each and should be wired accordingly. To connect the XEM LCD screen to the base plate, verify that the screen is right side up, which should have the pin connector terminal block on the bottom aligned with the pins on the wall plate. Push the LCD screen directly into the wall plate until it clicks on both the top and the bottom. The screen should now be secure. You may now power up the device, but do not connect the LCD communication to the executive controller until the next step is completed, as communication may interfere with the addressing of the LCD. Once powered, you will need to configure the LCD's address. Press Platform, then Display Settings. Use the bottom right arrow to scroll down until you see the Address option and press it. Enter the default password of 9999 and configure the unit's address. You may now back out of the setting by pressing back or home. The addresses may differ from project and device, so be sure to obtain your most recent I.O. list to confirm the address number of your XEM LCD. At this point, you can connect your communication wires to your ES1 or other Novar executive controller. Once communication is restored, the unit will automatically begin to download the screen layout and the notification screen will change from reading not active to layout download in progress. Once the download has completed, your screen layout will populate and the device is ready for use. This concludes the mounting, wiring, and addressing overview of the XEM LCD. Please refer to the XEM LCD installation guide for more information on the topic.